Kate's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Wearable Wednesday. Wearable Wednesday was started because I didn't feel super comfortable making clothing and I really wanted to try and branch out and do a little bit more of that. And I tried, I had made some kind of hood and I turned it into a sweater and so that was kind of my first project because a lot of people were interested in a tutorial for that so I did that. This really wasn't intended to be tutorials though so I am going to look for patterns that look interesting and I'm going to give them a try and see if I can't get a little better at making clothing. So I found uh, something that I thought was so cute and it's a free pattern. And so I'll link it down below. And if anybody was interested in making it at the same time as me, that would be fine. I would love that. Uh, I'm not under any kind of time crunch for it. I'm going to work on it little by little each week and take all the time that I need to get it done. So if it's working up fast, I could have it done in one or two weeks. Or if I have a lot of projects or if it's not as easy as I thought and I had to rip out and pull out, it could take longer. So... You know, like it, like I said, if you would like to join me, you may, but I can't, you know, I'm not under any kind of time crunch. So if you get yours done faster than me, that's fine. It's totally fine. Or if you're a little bit slower too, that's fine as well. This is the, the uh, pattern that I picked. It's called Cowl Vest. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. I have trouble though. I'm I'm hoping this is not going to be one of those instances where they have like um, a model perfect body person modeling it, and then I make it and it and it looks like it should look, and it, but it looks terrible on my normal, you know, menopausal, <laughs> not very good shape body. So um, I'm hoping that I'll like it on me. <laughs> But it, it is pretty, I, we'll see, we'll see. So this is made with Karen uh, so Simply Soft. And for my size, it took four skein, or it takes, I shouldn't say took, it's not finished. <laughs> it takes four skeins of contrast A color, and then four skein, or three skeins of contrast B. They, in the pattern, they use a color called Bone as contrast A, and then they use Off-White as contrast B. I went to Walmart and they actually made my choice easy because they only had two different colors to choose from for the Karen Simply Soft. So I went with what they had. <laughs> so I got this color as contrast A, which you needed four of. This is called Soft Green. And then for the Contrast B, I just got white. It's just plain white. Whoops, Karen Simply Soft, white. And so I was really excited to get it started. So I did start it. You use two different size hooks. So far I've only used the one. You use a P, which is very large. It's a 11.5 millimeter. I don't know if that shows up. And then you use an N as well, which I didn't bring up here with me, but I haven't gotten to the part of the pattern where you use N yet. You start with the back panel and you hold three strands together. Two of the, <laughs> two of the main color A and then one of the contrast color. So that, I found that very interesting that it was three. And I'm kind of holding this against me and I'm hoping this is not gonna be too tight. Um, but, and this looks huge, but I'm not really small. Uh, this is how it looks so far for the back panel. But when I hold it, I'll see if it's pop. It's not easy to show. Around the waist, it goes farther, but down around my hips, it um, kind of just just goes to the middle, which means it'll be, I think it'll be a tight fit going on. So we'll see. I'm hoping it works out. Maybe it, it is stretchy, so maybe it will be okay with the stretch. Maybe 
as I sew it together, it won't feel so bad. And I, I guess what I could also do is if it was too tight, I could kind of make a little panel here, you know, maybe do the same pattern, but just make a piece like this big and then sew it, sew it on each you know, sewed on each piece. I don't know, we'll see how it gets put together. I'm trying not to get too far ahead in it because I don't want to be too intimidated to keep going. <laughs> so I'm just doing one step at a time. You know, I have found when I've done bigger projects, if I just take it one row, one step at a time, it it is less intimidating because I'm only worrying about one thing at a time. So I haven't skipped ahead because I didn't want to start worrying about what was coming up. But we'll see. It, it is pretty. It's very, very thick and it's very stretchy. I think it will be a warm sweater. And I was thinking originally when I looked at it that I might make it long sleeves. But I think... Um, First of all, I didn't get enough for that because my Walmart only had just enough to fulfill, fulfill what the pattern called for. Um, so I, I wouldn't have enough to make sleeves, but I think if I had sleeves on it, it would be extremely warm. Um, and I've been warm enough lately, you know, <laughs> at my age. <laughs> Um, but I think also, I think it looks cute the way it is. I, I looked it over and I was like, no, I think I kind of like it that way. And, it, and I can wear a long sleeve shirt underneath it. I think it'll be plenty warm. So that's what I have for today. Um, it, like I said, if you were interested in trying the pattern, I'll link it below. If you wanted to do it with me, that would be fine. If you wanted to send me pictures of yours, if you're doing it, that would be fine too. I do have a Facebook group called Strings and Threads. I always have that in my, my description. <laughs> so I always put my email, um, my Facebook, my Instagram, um, the pattern books that I have for sale on Amazon, um, and my Etsy account. You know, I have thing I have patterns for sale on Etsy as well. If you were interested in going and visiting any of those social media platforms, but if you wanted to become part of my um, Strings and Threads Facebook group, you know, we can kind of share things there as well. So I hope you have a good night and I will see you tomorrow for Things We're Making Thursday. Bye.